double neck talk with Lon and Ron. Yes. The writer and the musician. <laughs> the jester and the scientist. <laughs> <laughs> let's talk Just about it. the science of this guitar. All right, well, let's. It. Oh, where do we begin? All right. Well, it is obviously it is a double neck, uh, fretted and fretless, 24 frets, the equivalent of 24 frets or two octaves. Um, it has DiMarzio pickups, tone zone chopper, five-way toggle switch, one for each. Where we have the. Uh, bridge pickup, bridge pickup as a single coil, the two together, the two out of phase, and then just the chopper by itself. We have a Floyd Rose bridge right here, which I only have bending down. I have it hard against the body, it doesn't bend up. In case I break a string, the whole thing won't go all out of tune. We have the locking nut here. What I did is out of Velcro, I made where it has the, the hooks on the back, glued down, and then double sided soft part and I just wrap it around and I just kind of keep it there as a string mute in case everything is a bit too noisy and as I'm playing I just kind of flip it up and it's fine and push it down and it's there. Uh, what I like to do so I don't get string ends in my thumb is since I can with this I cut the ends of the string this way put them in so that I have it like that. This one is just standard wires in from behind the guitar. Uh, I usually keep tuned up to standard A440. I just have a volume knob for here and a volume knob for here, and this is where we switch between one or both necks. Uh, I change it to just a standard input jack there. There is a kill switch, and then here is a magnetized hole that houses the thimble that I keep on my right hand my picking hand, smallest finger, that when I run out of frets, I hit this down and touch it against the string to get pitches that are above the range of the fretboard. Also, about these necks, they don't have a truss rod in them. Instead, they have a sheet of graphite that goes through them and keeps the necks solid and they don't waver, they stay consistent. The fretboard on the fretless is stainless steel or some kind of alloy similar to it, some secret concoction of metal. Uh, and the company that makes this guitar is Vigier, V-I-G-I-E-R, Vigier Guitars from France. Yes. And there's a zero fret under here that just creates a, a more consistency between the open and the first fret and everything. And, yeah, and then I have my Planet Waves, my Diodario tuner right here. And keep with me at all times, thank God for that. Uh, and then this thing, a friend, my friend Jeremy out in London gave me this, basically, anytime there's any movement or uh, anything that lights up. So a lot of times as the drums are loud and, and beating, this thing is going along with the drums. And it's just to entertain myself. And then this is broken from the case and fluffy. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what we have going on with this guitar, cracks and dings and mileage and... Where did this come from? This came from October 2013, traveling through, to, uh, to, uh, through Europe, and uh, it was in a hard case, but something on the plane pierced through the case and broke the case and put those dings in it. Uh, yeah. Where There's, were you performing in Europe? with this guitar on that 2013 every day was a different country it might have been somewhere between germany and netherlands or croatia somewhere or france london kind of it was, blur, it was no? yeah it was it all was over injured. the place it, was it got you know, it got some smile lines yeah, it got, it got some, some details it got some character is what it got yeah you're not going to touch that no no this is <laughs> these little things that that give it life that How give it experience old is this guitar? It's not even that old. I got it in early 2013, but I've just played it so many gigs with it and recorded so many albums and things with it. It has lived a very long, filled life. Yes. Better to, better to burn out than it is to rest. Mm -hmm.